The court says, when they talk about the spectrum, they, they talk about a spectrum, and Rowley talked about spectrum of kids, from here to there, and this is almost poetic, and with infinite variations between, infinite variations of capabilities, of circumstances, so it gives meaning. We, we have not, we have not given meaning to the word individualized in our individualized education programs. We have converted that to something different, to different things. It's the hardest thing in the world to do. Individualize a program, individualize thing. And this is, I don't know has implications for IDA. How many I whatever do we have? IWRPs, ISPs, IFP, I mean, name it. And all of them are dis all of them have the same purpose and the same goal. And 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 we we slop over it. Maybe it's because we use initials. Maybe we ought to just say individualized, individualized, individualized. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, my, my only point is that this court, Robert's writing for this court, read the ca statute carefully. It's befred of any legislative history at all. That's why I think Scalia would have loved it. Uh, and again, it, and this was a case that was presented, if you read all the petitions, the petitions were full of all the case, all the conf conflicts that were going on in the circuits, and and the and, and the, the, the the impetus was to the Colorado case was to resolve this conflict, where some circuits were treating uh, the idea of appropriateness differently than, than other circuits, from nothing to trivial to some to meaningful to whatever. So let's figure out where that actually lands. The court ignored all of that, read the statute and connected progress and connected appropriateness to the individual education program. So let's pay attention to that. And right after that, Robert says, right after he says all this stuff about individualized, he says, an IEP is not a form. An IEP is not a form. Now that is, that is poetic. That is poetic. Not quite iambic pentameter, but it is a mantra. It's a chant. Say it. An IEP is not a form. Isn't that something? Is that something? And it comes. That comes right after saying individualized is important, specially designed is important, and unique is important and the infinite variations are important. Now, why did he do that? I think there, you know, he certainly didn't want to reveal that none of the eight justices on the court were ever at an IEP meeting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing you get as a forum. But I, I think it's clearly uh, uh, the loudest and most direct response to the school district's uh, argument in the case. School districts saying the IEP is just a checklist. Uh, that IDA is all form and no substance. And the court here clearly said no. That it is, there is substance to it. There is content to it. Uh, there must be content. But that content is not going to be directly supplied by a judicial formula. That content is going to be supplied, they said, by carefully prepared, fact-intensive professional judgments about particular ch children, their circumstances and capabilities, as presented by parents, teachers, and in some cases, the student themselves. Now, that's serious business. And that seems to me, we've got a lot of work to do to start to make that, make that real. So I think it would be a great advance when TASH provides parents 
with Andrew F. Toolkits. A toolkit would include a t-shirt <laughs> with bold letters quoting Justice Roberts, the IEP is not a form. <laughs> and we should think about a script that parents can use when they go into the IEP meeting and the IEP manager begins to put all the documents together and organize the readings of the multidisciplinary evaluations. And the script would go something like, thank you very much for convening this meeting, but we're here to talk specifically about Kate, John, Justin, and how we can meet his or her unique needs. And we're here to have a conversation. Let's talk about the general curriculum and how we're going to figure out progress in the general curriculum. And the toolkit would include much more state-of-the-art and evidence-based practices, successful demonstrations so that we know, uh, and experience of children at all disability levels. The film would be great. That film would be great all disability levels, the infinite variation that the Supreme Court alluded to. And if the people in the IEP meeting have problems, just make it clear uh, that this is what the Supreme Court has said. It's not business as usual, not categories of children, not deficit evaluations, uh, and parents and educators, real educators, are equal partners in the conversation and decisions about what degree of progress that children should make under their IEP. 